Welcome to Moon Garden. My name is Abigail and today I'll show you how to make vanilla and violet thumbprints. These thumbprints are made of just a few simple ingredients. They don't take hardly any time to make and the best part is that they are gluten free and vegan friendly. Begin by sifting 215 grams of almond flour or two cups of almond flour into a bowl and I'm sifting it to break up the lumps. You can definitely skip this step, but I do recommend it for a lighter and overall more refined thumbprint. Tend to sift in two different stages because there's a lot of flour. It's easy for it to fly out, so take your time. After this stage, it's very quick and simple. Next, go ahead and add 60 mils or one fourth cup of maple syrup. Then add 60 mils or one fourth cup of olive oil. I tend to use an unfiltered olive oil because I use that in my cooking. The vanilla definitely drives the flavor in these thumbprints and so you'll be adding two teaspoons. Even though it's tiny, a pinch of salt brings out the flavor in the thumbprints even more. So you can see I hesitate on what size actually a pinch is. Carefully take a wooden spoon and gently stir the mixture together. It will resist it at first and then it does start to come together. It may take a little prompting from you. Take time to make sure the dough is evenly spread and so you'll need to scrape down the sides or the spoon but a dough ball will form. This next step is completely optional but if you choose, take a handful of slivered almonds and leave them as they are or chop them up roughly. Roll the dough into the almonds. For the plain version, scoop directly onto the tray. The cookie scoop I'm using is roughly one tablespoon. Take a half teaspoon and gently press it into the center of the dough to make an indentation or you can use the true method, which is your thumb. Though, honestly, I don't know if people do that anymore. The jam is absolutely my favorite part of making this recipe. The color is absolutely stunning. Not only is it the color of violet, but it is the flavor as well. Very, very delicate. Because we added a half teaspoon indentation into the dough, we will then add a half teaspoon of jam. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. You want them to be ever so slightly golden. Then continue the process with the rest of the dough. As you can see, you can roll the dough between your hands and that makes for a more elegant touch. Violet is a flavor that comes and goes from fashion. It's used a lot in herbalism, but the last major usage of violet flavoring was in the Victorian period. There was a small resurgence when the Parma violet candy was invented in the mid 1900s. If you're fortunate enough to live around violets that grow naturally, then definitely forage them away from major highways where an exhaust would pollute the petals. I like to use full violets for the thumbprints that have been coated in almond. And for the ones that I have not coated, I just sprinkle the petals over them. I want things to look natural and not fussy, but still really, really lovely. The 
though the process takes a little bit of time, I find it completely meditative. There's something very serene about working with very gentle ingredients. Don't they look shining like jewels, beautiful on a plate? I feel like it would be something that not your grandmother would serve, but maybe your great grandmother. It's a great way to take a step back in time, still feel relevant for today, and just take a moment for yourself and have something that is truly delicious, but not overpowering, delicate, and wonderful.